Today we're at the Syngenta RTP Innovation Center in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. Uh, we're standing in the Global Center for Seeds Research for Syngenta. We have four floors of lab spaces and three floors of administrative offices. And connected to the Innovation Center is our Advanced Crop Lab, which is the most advanced plant growing facility in the world. It's roughly an acre under glass with 46 different growth environments where our researchers can really study uh, the traits that are necessary in order for growers to um, put the seed in the ground that they know will perform the best and uh, really impact their bottom line. The Crop Lab is a unique place. We can recreate any environment in agriculture between now and about 100 years from now within this facility. We can test for drought, we can test for heat, we can test for elevated CO2. We can look at a number of different traits, whether they're GM traits or edited traits, and look for the type of performance in the plant that we want. There is no other place like this on the planet. There's varying perceptions of <clears throat> GMOs in the marketplace and in, pu in the public. Uh, GMOs actually are very, very safe. <clears throat> I'll give you an example. When we do our proof of concept and early discovery work, <clears throat> we look at the degradation of the protein in simulated gastric fluid. We want to have that protein digested in less than 10 seconds. The ones that we bring to market, the timing is less than a second. Think of the steak you ate and the meat sweats at 2 in the morning. Right. <clears throat> Fundamentally different equation. We'd run 60 to 80 safety studies. These are some of the safest products ever brought to market by man. GM is as safe as it can get. I know the science behind it. <clears throat> I know the people who do the work. They wouldn't be doing this type of work as a career to feed people, to support the population of the planet if they did not think this was safe. So interesting question, after being in agriculture for 40 years and on the research end of seeds, um, I was drawn to this because I was fascinated by plants. <clears throat> I was drawn to agriculture because of the impact it has on human population, it feeds people. Gene editing is a tool, just like genetic modification was a tool, marker technology is a tool. All of those tools are used to select better products, to create variation, to understand the variation and to select those products that will perform better in a farmer's environment. I think that's a phenomenal accomplishment by the people involved in agriculture, whether they be on the science side, uh, people in, in the sale of our agricultural products, or the farmers that actually grow the food. To me, this is a phenomenal accomplishment of humanity.